All right, let's go all in. How to enable developer mode on iPhone iOS 18. Developer mode isn't just a toggle buried in your iPhone for fun. It's Apple's way of saying, okay, if you're gonna play with experimental stuff, we will let you in, but you better know what you're doing. This mode is essential for developers, testers, and power users who want to install custom apps, run apps outside of the app store, or connect their iPhone directly to X code for development and debugging. By default, Apple hides it to protect casual users from breaking stuff, breaking uh, their devices, uh, or installing shady apps. So, step one, prepare your arsenal. Before you even see the developer mode toggle, you will need uh, iPhone running iOS 18. This only applies to devices already updated to iOS 16 or later, since developer mode uh, debuted then and continues in iOS 18. Next, Mac with Xcode installed. The official app developer environment downloaded from the Mac app store, right? You could just type right here Xcode to put a face on the name. Okay. And once you download it from your app store on Mac, it's free, though huge in size. A lightning or USB-C cable to connect your iPhone to your Mac. Yeah, wireless is possible in some cases, but weird, uh, but excuse me, wired is safer. Next, an Apple uh, ID linked to a developer account. A free app developer account is enough for enabling developer mode, though you will need a pay one if you want to publish apps on the App Store. Next, connect to Xcode. Plug your iPhone into your Mac, open Xcode. If it's your first time, you might see prompts to install additional tools. Let them all, let them install. In Xcode, go to Window, Device, and Simulators, and your iPhone should show up on the left-hand sidebar. Selected. If you see Trust This Computer prompt on your iPhone, tap Trust and then enter your passcode. This handshake is what uh, tells iOS, hey, this device is going to be used for development. Step 3. Unlock Developer Mode Toggle. Once your iPhone is recognized by Xcode, um, disconnected. Now open settings on your iPhone, okay? Then you're gonna scroll down to privacy and safety, or privacy and security, excuse me. Inside, you'll find a new section labeled developer mode, okay? This section does not appear until after you've paired with Xcode at least once. If you don't see it, reconnect to Xcode and make sure your device is properly registered. Step four, enable the developer mode. Tag developer mode and then toggle it on, okay? Uh, a giant warning will appear. Apple basically says developer mode allows apps from outside the app store to run. This could expose your phone to malware, instability, or data leaks. Proceed only if you know what you're doing. Tap, tap restart and your iPhone will reboot. And after reboot, you will see a confirmation screen. Tap turn on again to finalize. Now developer mode is on. What developer mode lets you do, once enabled, you can run apps directly from Xcode. You can build an app and immediately test it on your phone. Install custom IPA files. This is how many side loading tools like AltStore or eSign work. Advanced debugging tools, access system logs, performance monitors, crash reports, and more, and app testing without App Store, perfect for beta testing or personal projects. So there's also risks for develop of the developer mode. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Apple hides it for a reason. Security risks, apps installed outside the App Store bypassing security checks. Testing unfinished apps can cause random crashes. Debugging and background tools eat more resources. If you're careless with third-party apps, your info could be exposed. In short, 
don't enable it on your daily driver um, unless you're truly needed okay if you don't see the developer mode on your phone you need to connect properly try again and make sure you hit trust this computer maybe you're running on old mac os or xcode update them both ios 18 requires the latest xcode version maybe wrong apple id make sure you're signed into the same id on both iphone and xcode so enabling developer mode on ios 18 is basically a three-part ritual pair with xcode unlock the hidden toggle on setting in in settings reboot and confirm once it's active, your iPhone becomes a mini developer workstation, letting you test apps, sideload tools, and dig deeper into Apple's ecosystem. But with great power comes great responsibility. If you misuse it, you could crash apps, break features, or worse, compromise your data. Let me know in the comments of this video helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.